Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about how to draw table and borders in the script. For this, I have created one script with one page and three windows header, main and signature and I've, I have attached these three windows in the pages. Now in the header window I have simply marked design the window and table it's only the hard coded text and in the signature window I simply hard coded this is my signature and in the main window we are going to draw the boxes and table inside the main window for this and for better understanding I have created four elements here first one this HD element will draw a complete frame for main window and it will draw header for the table I'll explain you in detail next first let, uh, I'll explain about the elements and this item IT element this will draw a complete boxes for each column as you can see column 1 position column 2 column 3 and column 4 and table header element will display the column headings and TD element will display the data inside the main window so let's, let's, let me explain you simply to understand how the box are drawn box is the command which is used to draw the box inside the script the box will be drawn with different parameters we can give height width frame intensity etc height is to give what is the height of the box this height will be based on the window size not based on the entire page because we are placing this box inside the window the frame will give the thickness of the line outer line of the frame we can give number of points or mm cm anything but for frames generally we use points next position this position is like in the classical report we use position to place the cursor from the particular position the text will be displayed like this in script we have a command called position there we can define what is the x origin and y origin these are the coordinates from where the next line has to be started after this I, have, I am drawing a box with a width of 18.6 and height of 0.5 and frame of 0.1 mm intensify 20 this is to draw header column headers of the table I'll explain you in the next by showing comparing with what are the actual size of the window then this is the items here I am drawing the columns in scripts you can draw the lines through boxes only so we need to define the size of the box if you want a horizontal box then you should give more width less height as we have given here if you want to draw columns then the height of the box should be more and the width of the box should be less as you can see if you do not and one more thing to remember if you do not give the height or width 
then the system will automatically consider that the full size of the window this syntax will draw the complete frame for the window i'll show you when we are executing this so here we have designed for three columns and fourth column i am not drawing because the rest of the space in the table will be fourth column then i have created two paragraph formats here th and td and i have defined the tabs for that now let us go back to the program and see what i have written there for the for the better understanding i took a simple case where i have defined four fields from the mara table and i am getting 100 rows as you already know we need a function modules to call the script open form i am opening the script then i am calling if you see the description calling the header element to print the box for the main window and heading of the table i am calling this heading window then calling it element to print the columns of the table then i am printing this table header then i am printing the table data so let us go a step by step to understand better. let me comment all the lines other than and to give you the clarity so in the program i am commenting it header and item and activating it and simply executing this if you see here it has simply drawn a frame for the entire window this is the dimension of the window so it it is drawn outer line for the window it has drawn because at any height or width at the command now i am uncommenting the table header so i'm executing this program again here you have seen you can see here there is a small box which is drawn on the top of the first box with different color as i've mentioned here the box width is 18.6 how do i know this 18.6 how do we actually give this dimensions you can give this dimension based on the window size from the page window tab so here you can get what is the dimension of the window then you need to design the box inside the window based on these things so left i am giving left the main window starts from 1 cm so if you see my coding if you see our commands first thing will draw the outer line of the main window then i have positioned the x origin as 1 because my window starts from 1 cm 
then I have given my y origin as 5.3 because my window upper position is 5.3 so I am drawing the I am keeping this cursor position at that location so from that location the box will be drawn so here the box width is 18.6 because I want this table completely size of the main window so I have given complete size 18.6 centimeters then height I have given actually 0 0.5 I have given 0 0.5 as height and frame as 0 0.1 mm and intensity as 20 it's 20 percent you can give 0 to 20 100 uh, percent based on that the color will be more gray or light gray something like that so like this I have drawn the header next the columns So, I am trying to display four values of work area matter, material group, material type, and unit of measurement. So, for that, I need four columns to display. So, here, first column position, I am setting it to 1 centimeter and 5.3 because why? Because my column should start from the heading to the bottom even in the heading I want a line separation so I am starting it from 1 centimeter and 5.3 if I want I don't want column separators in the heading then we need to give after 0.5 means here we need to give 1.5 then the header will be no lines will come on the header then I have designed a box with width of 5 so I did not give any height so it will take complete main window height and I am giving frame as 0.1 likewise I am designed I, de I have designed column 2 here the x and y origin should increase not not y origin x origin should increase because from which position the second column has to be started if you see the first one is one centimeter it starts from one centimeter and it has a width of five centimeters so what will be the next positions to start the column it is six centimeters because of one plus five equals to six so from there you should start the x origin so from th from there I am drawing a box of three centimeters width so the next column will be starting from 9 because 6 plus 3 the next box should start from 9 so from there I have given 3 so 3 centimeters width box will be drawn from 9 centimeters so the fourth column I don't want to draw because if I draw fourth box then there will be 5 columns in the table so rest of the space left in the box is a column 4 so it's a simple way to draw it next I have created the paragraph formats with tabs these tabs you have to create based on the column positions as we drawn above because the data has to come between the columns so first I'll show you how the paragraph formats tabs has configured so if you see here the first tab will be started from 1.10 centimeters this is based on the position of the window
so let me uncomment these things so that you will get a better idea how actually our things as drawn so i'm executing this yes if you see here as i told you first tab i have kept it 1.10 our window starts from this position starting of the window from here i have kept a tab of 1.10 means the material number is started from 1.10 because i have kept tab after that i have drawn the material number so this tab position this cursor at 1.10 cm location then material number is displayed then the second tab will take the cursor to 5.10 how i know 5.10 clearly you cannot know so you need to measure what you are giving so here i'll give you a simple explanation this might help you or else you need to change the positions and you need to see it so because i have started my first column from a uh, first column width as 5 cm so after this 5 cm i am giving little space to ta start the text so in the tab i have given 5.10 because this first column will end at 5 cm so i am starting my text from 5.10 likewise the next one is 9 the next tab eight, sorry 8 so in the first column it is started at 1.10 in the second column it is started at 5.10 in the third column it will be started at 8.10 because the length of the text we are placing will fit in the position so like this i have created two paragraph formats one if one is for table heading and another is for table data both are i am giving sim both actually uh, uh, the data positions are little bit varying you can keep the same so this is what this is how we can actually drop a table in the scripts understand clearly the important things are position from where the box has to be started and the box the box sizes what is the width of the box what is the height of the box and frame and if you do not give give the frame size then it will be blank so even though your box is drawn the output will be blank so you need to give some point for the frame and intensity to give some color other than white and it's completely on your interest and your imagination how you want to draw your table you can easily draw if you understand the dimensions of the window and position of the window then imagine that from you want the columns it's purely your thought and your your imagination nothing more than that the but you can draw better if you understand the positions and the sizes of this box command so let us give let us draw the boxes for header window also so he, he, here i am simply drawing a box box 
frame 0 0.1 pt so the whole box outer line will be drawn so after this activate now go to the program as you can see here there is no box around the hydro window click back execute see the box has come so I hope you understand how to draw the boxes and how to design the table in the scripts please watch this video multiple times so that you can understand in a better way I know it's it's actually a very simple but it's little bit confusing uh, concept in the scripts so watch some more times then you will get a better idea how to draw and what I was trying to explain if you have any doubts please comment below thank you very much